dissolve uh, it in a uh, fixed amount of water then it uh, dissolve it properly it gives a very homogeneous solution of a blue color um, uh, you call it uh, the mother tincture uh, or the main solution or something like that then uh, you are going to uh, dilute the solution so you you are already familiar with you don't have to go to a um, school or you don't have to go to university or you don't have to do a phd to understand that i think almost all the kids when they uh, used to play in their childhood knows that if you dilute a colorful solution it, it, the intensity of the color will reduce over time so imagine that you are doing an experiment like this that you are um, uh, diluting uh, you are diluting diluting a colorful uh, solution and then somehow you are measuring the intensity of each solution and you are writing a, a thesis and publishing it in a reputed journal and your conclusion is like this the dye is good for watching netflix then what will be your reaction then definitely you will be saying that your experiments doesn't coincide uh, with the, with with your conclusions your conclusion is diametrically opposite or it has no not even any connection with the experiments or the theoretical questions that you wanted to explore, right? This is exactly what happened in this uh, homeopathic study. We will go to that. This study uh, called Unraveling the Low Frequency Triggered Electromagnetic Signatures in Potentized to Homeopathic Medicine. It was published in Elsevier. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, to talk about Elsevier, Elsevier is a very reputed publishing company and this uh, journal, Material Science and Engineering, it has an impact factor of about 3.4. Uh, we know that um, when we discuss about a scientific study, uh, the impact factor of the journal in which it is published is very important. Most of the time it is very important to know the actual impact factor of the study. Um, uh, we don't consider studies that are published in low impact factor factor journals like journals that are having an impact factor of less than one so the question is what impact they are actually making if they are having a less a impact factor of less than one but this is uh, uh, a mediocre journal of having a impact factor of around 3.4 uh, and it is coming from a reputed um, the publishing uh, company so the question is how this um, uh, boga study or like this uh, what, what we call it's a it's a pseudo a pseudo scientific study how a pseudo scientific study can publish in publish in a reputed journal like this okay let's go and explore uh, what uh, what they did what they are actually trying to do in this study is that they wanted to uh, create a device um, uh, or create a novel uh, device to actually categorize the potencies of the homeopathic medicines. So that's what their intention was, because they um, uh, mentioned in, uh, in the introduction of the paper that after uh, a dilution of a 12C, it is impossible to actually find, find any molecules of the um, uh, medicinal molecule. So they wanted to make a device, a novel device, um, so that it can categorize um, um, the homeopathic medicines even in low potency so uh, if we uh, take a uh, for image uh, for example if you take a homeopathic medicine of like 30 c or something then put it into this machine or this device then it gives a uh, the results that oh it is of this potency so that's what they wanted to actually create and in the conclusion they are mentioning that uh, the homeopathic medicines have a uh, indigenous um uh, electromagnetic signatures of their own and uh, these electromagnetic signatures when the homeopathic medicine is taken induces or like uh, activates the vital energy in the human body and uh, that, that that's how um uh, it heals any ailments that's that's what the, what what's their claim is it's it's um, not even science fiction to me it is like just a piece of uh, joke Okay, so this is the instrument they have made um, to measure this uh, extraordinary um, uh, science. Um, uh, when looking at this picture, uh, these device may not be um, very familiar to you because even the authors claim that it is a very novel instrument. So there is no chance that you have seen it, but you have seen this in your life. Not only you have seen this instrument, you have experience with this instrument in your life, but in a different form. If I show the picture of that instrument, you can definitely... <laughs> definitely identify that instrument and that instrument is nothing else a metal a metal detector you might have used a metal detector in your life or you might have uh, gone through a metal detector door and uh, you uh, you have seen this thing and uh, 
this is exactly what you have just 